Welcome back to LCP Digital Learning. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about something else in Keynote called Magic Move. Now hopefully you've already watched the video that I posted earlier about how to add animations using your drawing tool. Today is going to be another way to add some movement, dynamic changes, and, and animation within Keynote that you can use to make your presentations more interesting, but also is going to allow your kids to have a little bit more creativity so that when it's time to show what they know, they're not just talking, they're not just doing some boring slideshows, they're really adding some depth and creativity to their show what they know time. So let me show you some examples of what I've done with this very simple tool, and then I'm going to show you how to do it. So right up here is going to be some examples of what I've done. So welcome to LIS, LCISD. Okay, here's one from day to night with the plane coming in and bringing my topic in. Okay, here's one about space, so this can move in. Then I can have my points come up on that left-hand side. Here's some dynamic bullet points. I love this one. So here's some three words that I want to talk about, and so I can define each word by using just transitions. Now I'm using magic move to make those words move into the quote that I was talking about. So now I've defined those three words, and then I've shown them in context. Okay, here's just a fun sun one. Love this one. So I can teach about night, and then when I click, that goes away, and now I can show the transition from night to day. Here's a great one for kindergarten and first grade using compound words. So I've got dragon, fly, and when I click, dragonfly. Okay, just a fun cute one. Now here's, here's one for kindergarten. A, apple. B, ball. Okay, I could show movement on a map. So imagine having um, the migration patterns of animals or of people or how people moved into Texas, um, things like that. So here's my car. I could show how I traveled from one location to another. Some different ways to show some really dynamic looking ideas. So again, instead of just having boring bullet points. So as you can see, there's a whole plethora of things that I could do with these ideas. So let me show you how to do that. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go into Keynote. I want you to do a new Keynote. I always use the white one and I delete everything on the page so that I have a blank document. So now I have a blank canvas to work with. So let's talk about how to show movement. The first thing I want to do is everything that I need on my transition is going to be on this slide already. So maybe I want to do the day to night. If I'm talking about the patterns in science about how night goes from day, night, day, night, things like that. So I'm going to need a sun and a moon. So I'm going to go plus. Now what's great about Keynote is it already has a ton of really useful icons already built into the program. If your Keynote is up to date, when you go over to media, that's where they add camera, pictures, movies, drawings, things like that. Go over one to the shapes. Now, you have your basic shapes. This is also where you add your text box. But if you slide over, you'll see that there's tons of different objects. I can slide over. There's tons of different animals. So this already gives your kids some really useful icons they can use in their presentations instead of trying to go find those pictures online and making sure that they are not copyright written. So I'm going to need the sun. Instead of having to search around, there's a little search button. So if I press the search button, I'm going to type in sun. There's my sun. I'm going to go ahead and bring that in. Make it a little bit bigger. Now I want this to be yellow. So again, the paintbrush changes um, properties of an object or your background. Make sure that you're touching the object you want to control. Press the paintbrush, yellow. Okay, I'm also going to need a moon. So again, plus, icons, and I'm going to type in moon. Oop, that's not right. And I'm going to type in moon. Let's bring that moon in. Maybe make it a little bit bigger. And I need my moon to be gray, so touch the paintbrush. And I'm going to change the fill to gray. Okay, so I want it to go from day to night. So I also want this background to be day background. So I'm going to touch the background, paintbrush, background, and let's make it... Oop, blue for daytime. Now, I don't want the moon there yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this moon off of the slide. So I just zoomed out a little bit, pinched and zoomed. 
move the moon over, and then maybe I want the sun to be here, okay? So now, that's my first slide. I want to now do magic move to show my second slide. So what I'm gonna do is on the left-hand side, I'm gonna touch the slide, and then there's gonna be an, a pop-up, and I'm gonna say transition. Now there's gonna be all these different transitions you can use. These are just the cute ways where they um, blend together, one, one moves away, move, one moves over, but I wanna use magic move. So I'm gonna touch magic move. It's gonna ask me if I wanna duplicate the slide. I'm gonna say yes. Okay, so now I have two slides. This first slide is where things start. The second slide is where they're gonna end up. So I know that I want the sun to end up over here and I want the moon to end up in its place. I also want the background to change from blue to black. So I'm gonna press done, touch the background, paintbrush, and I'm gonna change my background to dark, okay? So starting sun in the middle, ending moon in the middle. So let's see what that looks like. When I press play, as soon as I click, sun moves away and the moon comes in. So now I can have that dynamic transition and I can talk about those things, okay? So another example is showing some movement of, for kindergarten. So I'm gonna do plus, blank document. So maybe I want some text. So I'm gonna do plus, cancel this, and I'm gonna go all the way over to basic and I'm gonna enter a text box. In here I might say A is for Apple. Let's make this a little bigger. So I'm gonna highlight what I wanna change. Paintbrush, text, I'm gonna make this nice and big. Okay, so I've got A is for Apple. I'm gonna need the Apple, so I'm gonna do plus, icon, and I'm gonna search for Apple. Bring that in, make it a little bit bigger, and let's change the color to red. Oop, I'm ch touching the text, gotta make sure I touch style. I'm gonna change this to red. Now again, I don't want the Apple there yet, so I'm gonna move it away from the screen. So if I'm here, I just need to zoom out and I need to move the apple out of the slide because now, right now, all you see is A is for apple. Okay, so now I'm gonna touch on the left slide, transition, magic move. Yes, I wanna duplicate. Now, the second slide is where I want things to end up. So I want this to move up to the top and I want my apple to slide in. So now when I press play, as soon as I click, A is for apple. Okay, so I know those are some basic ones, but as you play with this, you'll start to realize there's some really dynamic things you can do with this. Imagine bringing in a map of Texas and then a bunch of troops, and you could show different battles and how that, those troops moved. The students could also show what they know doing that as well. If you're talking about migration of animals, showing the migration patterns and then having those animals move across the screen. Civil War, you could have the two sides and you could show where those battles went. So there's a lot of really dynamic ways the kids could use this in their presentations so they could have some pictures in one of the slides, they could have a movie in one of the slides, but then another slide could have this magic move where they're showing some dynamic movement. Then they could add some digital animation using their um, crayon or drawing with their finger. So I hope this helps you add some really dynamic presentation tools for you and add some dynamic things that the kids can use to show what they know. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time. If you found this video helpful, make sure and hit that like button. To make sure you get more videos like this, be sure to click right here to subscribe and to click the bell to make sure you get notifications. If you'd like to submit a topic or concept for future videos, there's a link in the description down below. And if you're looking for more digital learning tips and tricks, make sure to follow us on Twitter.